All right, let's talk about insulin spikes today. So Luke Howard wants to know, are insulin spikes just a myth, true or false? And then the um, next question is from Wallace uh, Vigus. He says, protein shakes also spike insulin levels, true or false? So the best way to understand this is by understanding the concept of a continuum. All right, the best way to look at almost anything in fitness and training is by understanding what a continuum is and where certain advice would fall on that continuum. So for example, an insulin spike all depends on the degree of the spike. So if this is a straight line, on this end of the continuum is a high spike, on this end of the continuum is a low spike, in around here would be a low spike, and here would be a moderate spike. So it all depends what you define a spike by. So a gallon of grape juice is absolutely gonna spike your insulin levels way down here. Having a piece of chicken breast, or a piece of meat, uh, let's say a, a ribeye, a fatty steak, is gonna be way down here. A protein shake is something that would be considered processed, it breaks down quickly, so it's gonna be somewhere probably around here. I'm just getting you guys to you understand visuals here, okay? So, will it spike your insulin? Well, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be down here. It's certainly gonna increase insulin because you have to understand how insulin works. Um, and you wanna understand that just because you're spiking your insulin, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Insulin spikes can be your best friend Insulin spice can be your worst enemy. So it all depends on the context we're talking about. Insulin is great at the end of a workout when cortisol levels are high and insulin and cortisol can't be in the presence of each other. So when we want to suppress cortisol, which is a catabolic hormone, insulin is your best friend. But then on the flip side, we don't want elevated insulin levels for an extended period of time because we know that that can lead to obesity. It can lead to specifically excess storage of belly fat, um, excess storage of belly fat. So you always have to put things in context. So is protein shakes a bad thing? No, having a protein shake, yes, is gonna increase your insulin, but if you don't have the frame of reference to what degree, then you're gonna see this as a negative thing. And this is where a lot of fear-based marketing really um, can influence non-educated people online and in magazines and in, in, in you know infomercials etc so you have to understand things in context so you always uh, so, so 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 to the first question are insulin spikes a myth um, absolutely not a myth uh, not not a single intelligent person in the world will refute that however the question is to what degree all right, um, the thing you wanna understand about insulin is that it's the hormone that you can control. In fact, it's the only hormone that you can control and insulin is secreted from the pancreas. As uh, what you guess a cool way to understand it is out of an emergency response. So when you eat something and uh, there's an enormous amount of sugar that comes into your bloodstream, your body needs to remove that and put it somewhere else in your body or else you'll die. It's literally like dialing 911. So insulin comes to the rescue and takes that sugar and it has to figure out where to put it in your body. On um, people that are insulin um, sensitive, it will go 85% to the muscles and 15% to the liver. For people who are insulin resistant, it's gonna go to 15% the liver and 85% the fat stores, all right? For those who are part of Live Large TV, you've probably watched the episode by now on, on um, you know explaining insulin resistance versus insulin sensitivity. And really the people that are the, the probably the most successful bodybuilders out there are people that know how to control insulin and those are the people who, who win, all right? If you want to win at your physique, you must focus on controlling insulin, insulin sensitivity, and everything you do must be focused around that. It's one of the most important areas of focus. So a bit of a rant there that wasn't one of the shorter videos, but um, I, I wanted to go a little more in depth than that. And for those who really want to understand um, you know, how this hormone impacts you, join Live Large TV. It's my fitness coaching program, and uh, it's my high level information much more beyond what I share here on YouTube, and it'll be excellent for anybody here who's ready to go to that next level and wants to go more in depth. On YouTube, what we kind of do is, an analogy I could share with you is we kind of skim the surface 
Uh, that's what we do here on, uh, on um, YouTube. We kind of just skim the surface, but on Live Large TV, what we do is we go scuba diving. We go deep and we go more in depth, all right? And there's a purpose I do that because, um, you know, obviously that's a paid membership, so we're looking for ultra serious people who are ready to invest in themselves. And uh, this is more of a place where I can um, introduce myself and for you to kind of get to know me and where we can build a relationship because I know for many of you guys you guys don't know me that well yet and you know you don't trust me yet and that's totally cool so this is an opportunity for you to get to know me like me and trust me and then when you do and you're ready to really really go in depth that's what we've got live large TV for that's my high level coaching program and I'll put a low below a link below for you just click the show more button all right, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you who tunes into the vids and uh, comments and likes the video. And if, and if you enjoyed that, um, that whole concept of the continuum, uh, let me know below and let me know how helpful that was for you. We'll see you guys next time.